Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fran Bo. I'm very excited to get back into this game after the last session where we defeated the evil twins, pretty much we tricked them and we destroyed them and then Mr. Toad, um, we gave him some, was it baking powder and he gave us a ride back to the land of the island. So before we go in, I remember we got this journal, which I don't know whose journal it is, it's Leon's journal apparently, so let's examine that cheese. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewellery, houses or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. Okay. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. And Mr. Leon is old and he seems sad. Hmm. Let's see what he wrote. Is Leon pronounced differently here? Because it's got like a little accent on his name. Hmm. Let's go to the next page. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. There's some creepy pictures, but we've seen these guys before. Can you see? Yes, when we take the pills, we can. Cry because it hurts. Creepy. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around the other me. The other me, tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. Nice. And I have tried hypnotized by his words, but there is also something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. It's a long old journal. January 15th, 1876. I meet a shadow for the first time it talked to me. Kamalas. Kamalas? Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said, we are born and feed from fear and the con uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of the human mind. That explains why they're all in the mental hospital. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Okay, might be useful to know. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I en encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Is that like that woman we saw running through the trees before? It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. A thirster awaits. All Valokas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it, it faded away. Hmm. Valokas. So, what are they called before? Kamalas is what they're called when they're like black, and then when they're purified, they're called Valokas. Val Valokas? I don't know. Whew. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithurster may not be a city in this world, but really, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Valokas invitation. Since I saw the Valokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head, and a single sentence, time is the rhythm of your perception. 
Okay. Mars, 13th. What? 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear it and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me, because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Oh my god, there's a lot! July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws, because they are not only laws, they are also behaviours. Chemical behaviours, natural laws. Without those behaviours, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Hmm. We have to study some chemistry to understand what this means. Okay. November 11th, 1876. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognised. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviours in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as pla platelets, platelets and white... I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I apologise. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but at a very high speed. I don't know science words, I'm sorry. What could the creature be? I don't know. Okay. What the heck? November 22nd, 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Ithursta are varied, the roots to giant, from roots to giant insects, roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Ithursta. Many kittens and many colours, yeah. Oh my god, is this the language? Oh my god. The Great Valokas is the beginning of the first reality. Prime Eve Light. Valokas Shield. The Valokas body structure is quite... Are they aliens? Hmm. Structure from... The Valokas body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reach... Age 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. ZR, creation of the great Velocus, king of Ithursta, second reality, life. Good lord, what is happening? Being in Ithursta feel, feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. I mean, I don't know, it sounds like pretty good. Oh god. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, F-R-E-E, -E, resides in the human world, third reality. Earth, Mars and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Okay. Senna Sede, the end of vibration, where both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. Okay. This is getting a bit much for me, guys. <laughs> Especially when I'm reading it out loud and finding it difficult to take it all in. But okay, there's a lot going on. Mabuka is the end of light. Many heads. That creature must spend a lot of time thinking. Blood everywhere. Okay. March 23rd, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being alive. Okay. If dark things from the dark are so dark, how do they find each other? Good question. <laughs> Maybe they like it dark because they're so ugly. And they're so ugly that they prefer not to see each other. Hmm. Let me just... Okay, we're almost at the end here, guys. No date recorded. 
I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments, that's why they look like they are growing hair, and the big white face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with, that, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. Hmm. Somebody ripped off the rest of the book. Yeah. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Okay, well, guys, if you're still with me after that long book, um, there's still. God, that took up half an episode. We've got ten minutes left before the end, but that's that's okay. Hi, Kitty. What will be the first thing you do when you get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? I think I would like the same. Yeah, it does sound pretty good after all this. Um, should we take pills just to see? Um, okay. So, are you the curious insects that get stuck? They're sleeping, maybe they're not stuck. Oh, I hope they have their hair comb. Yeah. Let's just see what this bit looked like with the pills. Wow. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. I guess they didn't. Anyway, let's let's go back to nice creepy woods. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh friend, come on, we have to get home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights, Mr. Midnight. God. I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, Kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Mr. Midnight, you better not get lost again, okay? I'm not coming to find you this time. Actually, I'd probably come to find you. Let's go. Mr. Midnight? Midnight? How long is this bridge? Oh, you stopped, why? Come on, Fran, let's go, I'm waiting for you. Okay. Fran, wait, why? Oh, he's back. Um... Wow? Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. Come on, Fran. Oh, look, you caught her. <gasps> Fran, no! Ah, oh, you came with me, though. Midnight is a friend son. You came to help me. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. Um... Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Wait, so Fran is missing now? And we're controlling Mr. Midnight? Um... Um... What happened to her? What an ugly tree. <laughs> I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? That's Fran? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. 
What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you're a, you're a freaking tree, Fran. Don't be silly, help me get up. What the heck is happening? Why are my hands? Why can't I move? It's because you're a tree for some reason. I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monsters did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He was. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night Mum and Dad died. Yep, he was at the window. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. You are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are, either. Am I going to die, Kitty? No, Fran. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Fran, you cannot actually die right now. You cannot leave Mr. Midnight. What the... Homka Igni ma Mehula. <laughs> okay. Um... Um... Hey! Be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Can you please tell me where I am, sir? Hula Kolke Hula. Stop it, I'll scratch you. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. God, this guy is going for it. Leave her alone. Kitty, help me find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. <laughs> See what I can do, friend. What the heck? Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. What about this guy? What, what have you got to say? An old vegetable sitting on a boat. <laughs> this is a wooden boat. Yes, it is. These are friends' stockings, yeah. Um, can I go up there? What a strange shape was it? I don't know. Um... Okay, there's the purse. I guess we can just grab it without any problems? Oh, okay. Uh, of course not. Go, go, go. Okay, so you can't. Hmm. And we've got no pills to... take. Can, will a shoe help? I'm not quite... Friend's shoe. Um... And I can't go down there, right? No, so what am I missing? There's nothing to miss. What's this? Oh, I'll take the stone, it's shiny. Can I use the stone with this? I've seen some of the mechanics they so good. Can I use the... Crystal with handle? Will the carrot accept the crystal as a gift? It won't work. What the heck is happening? I don't quite... I'm, I don't... What am I missing here? I see my friend's purse. I have to reach it somehow. I refuse to expose my beautiful and soft fur to water. Okay, Mr. Midnight, we won't. No, I clicked on everything there is, though. Um... Oh dear, I hope you found the purse already. No, I haven't. I'll keep... Oh wait, maybe she'll give me a hint. I hope you found the purse already. I can't reach it. Found the purse, but I can't reach it. I just can't. Why not? Oh dear, do something. The bridge isn't working, Fran. The bridge won't work as needed. That's just perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things that keep on rolling back. Do something so they won't roll back then. Gitty, I love you. Thank you for helping me. You're the best. Do something to... Can I jam them with the crystal? Can I jam them, please? Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's pretty simple. Oh, but it's stuck now. Oh, okay. Take the crystal. Okay. Do it. And then jam it. Mm-hmm. Mario, you're so smart. Sometimes. Grab that purse. I got the purse. Only because I'm the best. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Midnight. We're back, we've got your purse. Hey, this has that language in it, right? This is a mysterious book, I can't, okay. Friend, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing, you're the best, Mr. Midnight. 
now show the sir who's attacking me in my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Use with a carrot man. Alnum. I guess that means human, maybe? Uh, run my paskin. I don't know. Ah! They're taking her! Where are you taking me, sir, vegetable? Fran! They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, Fran. They're gonna they're gonna save you. Can you stop them, please? Fran, it's okay. I think they're gonna help, I think. I'll be right here with you. I'm coming with you. Right? Okay. Whoa! We left our clothes. 